Hey love bugs, welcome back to the channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley. And today we'll be styling this beautiful wig courtesy of Beauty Forever. This is gonna be a start to finish tutorial where we go ahead and take the wig straight out of the box. As you guys can see, I literally just took her out of the box. And we're gonna be installing her from start to finish. So you're gonna see me cut the lace, decide if I'm gonna pluck or tweeze, install her, style her, and get her to look super good on me. Now straight out of the packaging, we can already tell this one is a little bit intimidating simply because it's just a lot of curl, a lot of color, but I've definitely seen this colorway all over social media, especially here on YouTube, and a lot of my beautiful, um, what would you call them, colleagues I guess, here on YouTube have been able to slay and execute this one super beautiful. So I'm excited to see if I am able to get this one to look good on me. As I mentioned, this one did come from Beauty Forever, which is a company I've worked with quite often. Um, in the box, they did include wig caps as well as a little headband. It actually is very complimentary to this wig if you want to go ahead and rock it. Now, this one, as I mentioned, is a curly wig with highlights. Very, um, it has a darker root, but this is still like that nice brown, almost like a chocolate brown color. But they did include the baby hair, and of course, I inserted a clip of the inside construction of the cap. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and focus on the install and then we'll come back and update you guys with, you know, how I'm feeling and what we're going to do for the style. You guys know this is my OG favorite and it is completely empty. We are out. So we're going to go with one of my other loves and this is the liquid gold. We're going to pair this with the blow dryer on a cool setting to um, bond this down. Everything else I use is linked in the description box. But let's go ahead and just focus on the install for now. Installs are really really nice you guys know I work in sections with my install this is what I got so far if you find that it comes out a little bit messy or imperfect just go ahead and use a little bit of alcohol to clean it up like with a cotton swab for me personally I find that like that's not necessary because like as I do baby hair and like you know clean up the edges and just style the hair organically that whatever extra residue will come up naturally um, especially if you put the powder in and all of that. Also, you guys see I work in sections. Um, I like to cut the lace off first and then glue it down into three sections. And so I do the center first and then I'll do one side, usually the side out of habit and then the side third. So I'm gonna do one more side on camera. I'm gonna do the third side off camera and then we're gonna work on the baby hair.
So my wig is installed as you guys can see. And that was a glueless install. Excuse my crazy kids in the background. Look how beautiful it's looking against my complexion. I'm super excited about this one. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of heat around the hairline, I think, mainly to step out the parting. It did come a little bit off centered. I don't know if my face is crooked or what, but um, I did fix the parting a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and perfect it and then stamp it out. While I do that, I do have a elastic band around the hairline. I want this to set the um, hair. One thing I forgot to do is when you are dealing with textured hair, especially curly hair, especially color processed curly hair, it's not going to lay like it, you want it to. Like these pieces right here are curling up and I don't know why it didn't dawn on me to straighten it first. So if you're dealing with textured hair, curly hair, even if it's just black straight hair, go ahead and run the electric hot comb through it really quickly. This is going to help it to um, go straight so that it acts right and listens. If you don't do that again I'm doing using the elastic band to go ahead and help it to like stay in place and see what we need to do do we want to keep it down do we want to put it in a ponytail flip it over let's go ahead and see So we're semi-finished with this look. It's installed. The parting is as straight as I can get it. The curls are looking fleeky. Today I wanted to go for a mousse styling products. I like this because it kind of will wet the whole um, or saturate the entire hair or wig and then um, it kind of will add a little bit of a hold if you put a lot and you don't like dilute it with water add too much other products but then at the last minute I did decide to add a little bit of that Cantu leave-in I've been into so much first of all it smells so good for um the hair but also um because this is like color process I kind of feel like this piece right here or the bigger pieces that are color processed needed just a little bit more moisture and I felt like the leave-in was going to help me with that and it did so I'm excited to see it dry now I kind of wanted to keep it bigger and I kind of regret wetting it but the reality of it is even if it stays like this more um toned down or defined look like tomorrow and the day after and the day after it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger which is the beauty of hair it just transforms so as I said we've pretty much done everything we need to do to this wig except for like the icing on the cake right can you guess what we forgot to do or not even forgot to do just what we haven't done yet if you guessed concealer and powder then you guessed correct
Now it looks like that's gonna work. I'm gonna blend it out in just a moment. Also something we could have done is we could have defined this a little bit more. So you can take a little bit of concealer or powder and just like it'll cover like blemishes or imperfections, it'll kind of camouflage that hairline and make it a little less harsh. Now keep an eye and compare and contrast this side. Ooh, it's to this side. You see how it softened up? You see how this side is a lot more soft now? It's a subtle difference, but it makes a huge difference in, you know, the difference of like not wanting to pluck out the hairline, but still wanting it to look laid. And of course, I'm gonna go on top of it with the powder. So my camera cut off and I don't know if it, you guys heard everything I said, but basically, you just kinda go in like hair like strokes just like filling out your eyebrow and it's kind of a work reverse effect where instead of darkening it we're kind of lightening it and of course if you do it and you don't like the way it looks it's concealer just like it comes off your face it'll come off your wig so it's not a permanent solution so if you're someone who just purchased a wig and you want to make it look good and you're nervous to add chemicals to it and process it and bleach the knots you can do this and then like work up the courage to maybe like in a week or two after the wig gets a little bit more old you know go ahead and experiment but just in case you mess up you kind of want to spend a little bit of time with the wig while it's still intact now i'm going to go over the hairline the entire hairline and set it with powder. Okay, so we're finished with this look and it was super simple, easy, beginner friendly, just how I like it, especially for you guys. Now, I always say this, but I switch my wigs often. I switch my wigs sometimes two, three, four, five times a week. And for that reason, I don't feel the need to go in and like do 20 steps to each wig before I put it on. A lot of times I just wanna be able to cut the lace and put it on. Now in a perfect world, companies will be able to get the wig completely perfect where when you get it literally like everything is there you just cut the lace and boom it's on. But some wigs require finesse, some require more than others. I honestly feel like this one didn't require too much finesse. Um, literally just cut the lace, bond the wig down, make the baby hair, straighten out the parting. And as you guys seen, I allowed the concealer to guide me in, um, you know, finessing it and like softening up the hairline so it doesn't give too thick. Now here I can blend it out a little bit more, but again, this is concealer. Concealer, just like you put it on your face and you can take it off. I'll be able to do the exact same thing with this wig. And I can, you know, off camera, manipulate it to be a little bit more or less of a color or more pigmented or whatever the case may be as far as the curls i love how full this wig is it's full but it's not heavy it's giving i can wear it with a sundress and look really pretty you know a cute little top and it's real you know it's kind of almost giving like beyonce bills 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 i think hers was a little bit different of a colorway maybe a little bit more reddish if i remember correctly I think it was straight, but the colorway just gives me that vibe. Not exactly, but just, you know, vibey with the highlights. And yeah, I have no complaints about it. As I mentioned, this one did come from Beauty Forever. So go ahead and check the description box for a link and all of that. I'll give you guys a 360 so you guys can see the color and texture. it hope you guys enjoyed this one if you're a beginner and you're new i hope you guys learned something if you made it this far in the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe it'll help me out so much on this road to 300,000. i am ashley b deck as you guys already should know by now thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches <laughs>